Hello there, my lovelies. For this video, I'm going to be doing a painting using just coffee. So you can see that I have a background already prepped and this was really simple to make. Uh, I actually made this background about a year ago and it's sat in my art room <laughs> just doing nothing so I thought I would create a piece of work with it. If you'd like to know how I made the background, it was really simple. I have a thin board canvas and I simply layered up patches of an old book with some PVA glue and a little bit of coffee mixed in just to give it this light beigey colour. Once it was dry, I've now added some darker accent around the outside of the canvas. For today, I have three types of coffee mixed up here, and the smell is amazing. I absolutely love coffee, so I am loving the smell right now. I wish these videos had smell-o-vision so you could get the aroma. <laughs> In this little pot here, I have some very concentrated instant coffee with about a teaspoon of water in so it's very dark this one is another instant coffee and it was a gold roast so it's a slightly different colour to the first one it's also been watered down so it's better as a background wash And finally, the third one, which is the same as the second, but it has a lot more water in it. So it's very washed out and doesn't really smell too much like coffee now. Okay, I have my three trusty paint brushes. I have two thin ones for finer detailing and a slightly thicker one for my washes. Oops, those down there. So I have an idea as to what I want to paint on here. And I won't tell you, I'll just let the image unfold and hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I will. So let's start. Okay. So I'm using a mixture of the very washed out coffee and the medium blend to get my shading in. And then once that's dry, I'll use the darker one or a 
many details. this out at home. You don't need to use coffee. Um, you can use um, just a mixture of different brown paints. I just really like the way that um, tea and coffee dry on paper. They have this very nice effect. Also dries rather quickly, so it's a bonus. <laughs> so it's a lovely sunny day outside in the UK for a change. I think we are finally getting our summer. There's a very nice breeze outside and the sky is blue with just a few clouds. I will be doing another garden update video um, because a lot has changed in the garden recently. And I'd like to show it off a little. <laughs> so. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's entered the competition so far. For those of you who haven't, um, there is a link still in the original video and on my Twitter page. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Are you a tea or a coffee drinker? Let me know in the comments. I really love coffee and I know that sounds probably a bit daft coming from a British person but I really like strong bold flavours so dark chocolate and very strong coffee. I think my favourite would have to be a mocha because it combines two of my favourite things, um, coffee and chocolate. I don't think you can really go wrong with coffee and chocolate. I don't mind um, slightly milkier coffees, like if they have flavourings in. Um, I do like a good vanilla latte, or even a caramel latte. Yeah, 
uh, let me know what you guys like to drink. Or maybe you just really like hot chocolate. That's okay too. I actually have a friend who doesn't drink hot drinks at all. Doesn't like them. Maybe you are one of those people that doesn't like hot drinks. Okay, so I'm just using the darker instant coffee now. Trying to let the layer, different layers, um, dry a little before I put the next one on. I think when this is finished, I'm going to hang it in my kitchen. I think that's an appropriate place for a painting like this. I'm doing so far. Do you like it? <laughs> I think the colour makes it look really vintagey. Vintagey? I think that's a word. <laughs> Vintage like, maybe. Not sure if I've just invented a strange new word there. Vintagey. beauty about this is if you go wrong you can just add water and start again Okay, 
too happy about the spout here. So I think I'm just going to water it out a bit. Leave that little bit to dry. And I'll come back in in a moment. Drops. wash to the edges just to emphasize them a bit blend them out into the center You can hear it, but it's very windy outside. and find my line again.
going out a little bit, so I might have to leave that side for a while before I finish it off. the finished piece. So I've let this side dry a little so I can add my lines back in and it's still pretty wet but I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to cover it in a varnish. So I will post pictures at the end so you guys can see it properly. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.